Okay, this is 2.1. Do that a little better. Uh, this problem was uh, very, 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 very easy. This is a gift from God if you were paying attention. Um, okay, it wants us to express using Maxwell's equations, express uh, the electric and magnetic field components uh, in the propagating direction in the z direction um, <clears throat> in terms of the uh, angular or azimuthal components and the radial components. All right. There's actually a cheat because if you if you read ahead like another two sections, you'll find that it gives you uh, the way to express the the E field. We could do the B field in a similar way, but I'm just going to write the E field right now in the Fourier domain, where you got uh, R is the distance or the the space component, and then the omega is the frequency component. Um, a sub omega is a normalization constant. Um, uh, uh, F of rho is the radial component. That turns out to be related to be uh, the Bessel's equations when we move on here. We'll see that in just a moment. And we got two exponential functions that uh, are related. One's related to the um, angular or azimuthal part, and the other one's related to the propagation part. This one is exp um, uh, i to the uh, to, to phi times m. m is an integer for, you know, it's an integer order there. And uh, then we got exponent. Okay, exponent. And this is going to be uh, i beta uh, z. And beta is the propagation constant in the formula. And all we had to do uh, to express these is just take uh, in Fourier transform the expression for the E field here over to time domain and that'll give us the uh, the answer that they're that they're looking for very very easy uh, it was in fact like I said it was a gift from God if you were just reading ahead a little bit um, and the the transforms guaranteed like if we have Omega uh, at Omega zero that's a resonance match we're we're sitting on this on a center frequency, and uh, then we just uh, move over to time domain, which is imaginary d over dt. Okay, and then there's like I said, there are similar arguments for the the b the component of the magnetic field too. That we can do that with. So it's the same works out as the same for uh, b sub z. We just fill in the blanks.